Hey guys, what is up? Becker here and welcome to another episode of this whole Source TV thing. Now, what I'm going to be talking about this week kind of builds upon what we talked about last week, which is the true secret to SEO success, and that is keyword research. Uh, being able to consistently go out and find the most untapped profitable niches that 99% of marketers would not be able to find, and then using that on your site so you can rank extremely quickly. Now, last week I talked a lot about the theory and principle, but that's still mental masturbation. What I want to do today is show you tactics you can apply right now after watching this video to go out and basically uh, wreck shop in whatever niche you want. And what I'm going to show you today is how I consistently go out and in any niche I want, dive into it and, and I'm able to rip out keywords, profitable, high traffic keywords that 99% of marketers will not be able to find and consistently just rip out these niches and apply them to my sites and basically build uh, an authority site overnight. It's, uh, it's a very powerful tactic and this is what I like to call the blood in the wire technique. Uh, very, very cool stuff. So before I dive into this uh, blood in the wire technique, I just want to explain real quick what goes on behind it and why it works so well. Now last week I explained to you that using the keyword tool and market samurai, whatever you do to find niches, just doesn't work. I could rant here for hours about how stupid it is, but I'm not. I'm just going to tell you it doesn't work. Now, the best place to find keywords is not in these tools. It's not in the AdWord tool. It's not in any tool you can buy from the Warrior Forum. All right? The best place to find untapped niches is on the internet. And the thing is, but when you find an untapped niche, I talked last week about a bunch of my five biggest untapped niches. Now, when you find an untapped niche like that, that usually means that there are just hundreds of niches within that niche that are extremely untapped. Uh, for example, you find one good keyword, I guarantee you there's at least 10 keywords very similar to that keyword that are just as untapped and just as easy to rank for and just as profitable. And that's kind of where I got the name blood in the water technique because the second you smell that hint of blood in a niche, that, that blood money or whatever you call that blood money. <laughs> but anyways, the second you smell uh, that, that blood in the niche, you're able to basically go out and go in and dig deeper into the niche and you're going to know how to go and find, follow that kind of blood trail to find tons of more untapped niches within that niche and basically make an authority site off of this. This is how I make a lot of my authority sites and rank for all sorts of keywords just basically overnight. Now once you understand this, the best place to go out and find these keywords is not on the keyword tool. That's not where you go once you smell blood. The best place to go is in the gigantic monster websites you are trying to rank against. There's a lot of websites out there that broadly just kind of cover a whole entire niche. And because of this, they rank what I like to call accidentally all over the place. Um, you'll see you know, workout sites that have different types of uh, products on the site. They usually don't do much SEO on their inner pages just because they're gonna show up naturally no matter what. This is where we're able to go and take the keywords from their inner pages on their site, take the keyword ideas that they are accidentally ranking for and then grab them and then apply it to our site. Grab these keywords from our competitors, put them on our site, outrank them virtually overnight. Very, very cool thing, and that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do today. Um, it's just disgustingly effective. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is hop over to some live training. But before we hop into that, if you're excited about this, I want you to just really quickly go below, hit the like button, share this with your friends who are into SEO, and help them kind of realize exactly where they need to be going SEO-wise if they're having trouble. All right, let's hop into this live training. <laughs> All right guys, so we are here looking at my screen and I'm gonna live show you right here on this video how to do this blood in the water technique. And uh, let me pause that real quick. And basically this is done in four steps. It's a four step process that I use over and over again to basically just tear apart a niche. So let's just dive straight into the first step. All right, the first step to this is finding a untapped keyword. Now, uh, last week I showed you how to find untapped keywords very easily in niches to look into. Um, and some other videos on here, I've shown you how to go and find untapped keywords, all right? So I'm not going to get into the process of finding this. Look at the other videos. I will link to them below this video. What I want to do is just show you the untapped keyword I'm going to use to apply the blood and water technique to in this video. And this keyword is ddraw. As you can see, this is my website right here, ddraw.com. Now, this isn't a massive search volume. It gets about 1,000 plus global uh, searches per month. Get, this site gets about 30 visitors a day, and there's absolutely nothing on it, all right? I'm not here to demonstrate SEO superiority Anyway, I'm just showing you this site right here. Um, and obviously, this is a very untapped keyword if I'm able to do this and rank first for this. Now, now we found an untapped keyword. We know what niche we're in. All right, this niche that I'm in right now is the pro hormones niche. And so what I'd want to do is go and find a ton of keywords just like this one that are just insanely easy to rank for. So the second step to the blood and the water technique is finding 
a weak, broad competitor. And what I'm talking about is a large, large site that is showing up for basically every search in this niche that has a very weak link profile to the pages that are ranking. I'm talking about no backlinks and its pages are just showing up just because it's a big site. So I dug a little bit more into this niche and I just found another keyword and I constantly keep seeing this site right here, supplementreviews.com showing up. Um, and same thing with this search right here, they're down here. And I'm gonna see the same searches all showing up all over the place. Um, one other thing I just wanted to point out too is there's a lot of forums showing up too. This is just another sign of a very untapped niche. I went into this in another video though. But we see these guys, supplementreviews.com, ranking uh, pretty highly for any pro-hormone related niche. So what I wanna do is I wanna grab this URL and I wanna go throw it into Majestic SEO. And what I'm checking is to see if they have a strong link profile going to these pages. If, if I want to see if they are actually trying to SEO the heck out of these pages or if they're accidentally ranking. Because if they're accidentally ranking, then we can easily outrank them. But better yet, it's going to show us something else that's very cool. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to go and just throw these guys into Majestic SEO. All right, so we can see right here this, this page has 10 external backlinks, um, 15 in the last 10 years. And let's look at the anchor text profiles for these. And when we look at the anchor text profiles for these, we can actually see again they aren't really doing SEO. These are just like URL anchor text on the links that are going to this page. So what this tells me is that they have very, very weak uh, link profiles. They're not doing SEO for this page and they're just ranking accidentally. That means we can beat them. So what we then want to do is we want to go to step three. We want to dive into our competitor site that we know ranks broadly for tons of keywords, even though it's doing very little SEO, and steal their keywords. So what we're going to do, we're going to hop into their site, and let me pull up the keyword tool real quick in this window. And now that we are on their site, we want to hop around their site and just find a ton of keywords uh, that we can get for keyword ideas, and we want to throw them into the keyword tool first. So we're going on the page, we're on this home page or site we landed on from Google, and what I'm going to do is just go and dig around for keyword ideas. Now, I can go all sorts of places on this site right off the bat, and most sites we're going to do this to are built kind of the same way. This is how most big sites are built. And I could go up here, I could jump, jump to like top rated, I could go to brands, I could go and dig around and get all sorts of keyword ideas. However, what I want to do is just go down and look at right here. Here's a big horde of keywords. So one keyword that stands out to me is mDraw. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that word, jump over to the keyword tool, throw it in there. Now that search is getting about 74,000 searches per month. It's probably pretty competitive and I really just don't want to play around in that. What I want to do is kind of scroll down and just kind of look at and see what I can deal with. And I see one thing right here, HDRAW reviews showing up. So I'm going to go and do a Google search for that. And the first thing we see showing up right off the bat is our good friend supplementreviews.com. We can see this page right here and by what we learned from the last time we threw in Majestic SEO, I guarantee you they're not doing SEO for this page. They're ranking completely accidentally. Now we can see this search right here, not absolutely massive, <clears throat> getting about a thousand searches per month globally and about 720 locally. Not massive. However, imagine if we made our own pro-hormone website and actually did SEO for pages on our site. Say we made a hormone review site and then I made a page called HR Reviews and it easily outranked these guys because we know there's no backlinks going to the number one page, uh, number one site showing up for the search. So that's a thousand searches per month. So what I want to do right there is write down HR Reviews and I want to keep jumping back and forth to this competitor's website and pulling keywords from there. I didn't throw them in the keyword tool, look at the search form, and I want to get enough keywords to total about 10,000 searches per month plus. So if I grab, let's just jump back to the site, I'll grab another example real quick. Uh, so we see this keyword right here, trend draw. Gonna again go in there, throw it in the keyword tool. All right, and so see what shows up search volume rise. And we can see about 2,000 searches per month. So what I want to do, again, go throw this into the keyword tool, our good buddies right here who don't do SEO, again, showing up third for the search. So what we want to do, write down Trendadrawl as one of our keywords. We now have about uh, 2,900 searches per month in keywords that we can easily, 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 easily rank for. So we again can just keep hopping back to our competitor site, stealing a keyword, throwing in the keyword tool. Uh, again, just going to do it real quick again. Deck of all. Go in, grab that, throw it in the keyword tool. And what we just want to look for when we search for this, and you see how quick this is, it's not like I have to do extensive keyword research on any of them. Um, 800 searches per month, not huge, but again, enough if we grab about 10 of these. And the first thing we see showing up is again our buddies right here, supplementreviews.com. We see them showing up so we know it's an easy as hell keyword because they don't do SEO. 
And we also see a, a forum post showing up right at the bat. So again, we got another keyword there, keyword right there. So what we have so far is about you know 3,000 searches per month in keywords. We will go back and we can easily find about seven more keywords and we would have about 10K search volume and we would be able to make an authority site and rank all these pages, first page of Google, virtually overnight. And now look at all these, these products right here. They're high priced products. And these people, when they type in this, are looking to buy. All we have to do is link to Amazon, um, link to bodybuilding.com. They have a decent affiliate program. And boom, we are making money from an authority site virtually overnight. So let's just jump back through that whole entire process one more time. Find an untapped niche, step one. Step two, find a weak, broad competitor, analyze them like we did in Majestic SEO, see that they have a very weak link profile. Then we go to this competitor site and steal keywords from their site. We then go throw them in the keyword tool. Boom, just like this. And then if the search has a good search volume, we then look to see if our buddies are showing up, our competitor. And if we see them showing up highly, we know right away, because they don't do SEO, because they rank broadly accidentally, we can easily outrank them and we know this is an easy search. We then take these keywords, put them in a list, trying to get above 10K search volume uh, per month by adding up all the search volumes of these searches. And then we just make a site, make pages on the site targeting these keywords. Uh, we make a big broad niche site and we make pages targeting these keywords and then rank them very quickly. And boom, just like that, you have an authority site under your belt. You don't have some crummy little niche site. You are quickly building an authority site. Boom, just like that. And it's so easy to do this in other niches. So with all that being said, guys, this has been another episode of Source TV. And what I want you to do right now is share this video with people that you know are just digging around and doing SEO the wrong way. Show this to them so they can go, oh, whoa, there's a new way to do this. Let's start an actual sharing of good SEO information. On top of this, to get updates and get updated every single time I make another one of these awesome videos, just go below and subscribe to Source TV. This way, you will be on top of this. And the second I release one of these videos, you will get updated ASAP.